we got a package. I think it may be obvious why I'm not throwing this one. I think if I did, my wallet would definitely not be very happy with me. Almost two years ago, in December of 2022, I bought myself the iPhone 14 Pro, this one right here. I went with the deep purple 256 gigabyte model and not the Pro Max as at the time I thought it was too big for my hands. When I bought this phone, I told myself I was gonna keep it for at least two years and not upgrade until the 16 series came out. And that was even if I wanted to upgrade. Well, about two weeks after I bought this phone, one of my family members got their hands on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. This was right after my return window had closed and I realized I made a mistake and that the regular size iPhone 14 Pro with a 6.1 inch display just wasn't exactly large enough. That means for the last one year and nine months, I have been waiting to get my hands on a Pro Max iPhone, a phone that will finally fit in my hand properly as my hands honestly make the 14 Pro look kind of small. Anyways, I even skipped school to get this package and it is now 7.23 p.m. That's how long it took UPS to get this here. So in all honesty, it's an under exaggeration when I say that I'm excited to open this package. Now I genuinely cannot wait any longer and think I'm gonna start crashing out if I don't open this. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and pull the seal on the cardboard shipping box. We can now flip over the box and go ahead and finally reveal the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, as I haven't mentioned it yet, as you can probably tell if you watch some other unboxings, you may recognize that I got the natural titanium color. Now, while I was trying to figure out what color I wanted, I initially thought that the desert titanium was gonna be the best, but after taking a quick look through the Apple Compare website, I very quickly realized that the natural titanium color was gonna fit me the best, Plus, that's a color that I really wanted last year, even though I decided to hold off until this one. Now, before we continue unboxing this, I do wanna just go ahead and compare this next to a 14 Pro Max box. And as you can see, the boxes are mostly the same size. There's a very slight size difference with the 16 Pro Max over on the right. But the big difference that you can notice is one, the bezels on the image on the front are ridiculously small on the 16 Pro Max box and two, how much larger the image on the 16 Pro Max box is. It may not look like much, but if you look deeply, you can really tell. Now, finally, last thing before I get into unboxing the phone. Since I don't really have a great track record with keeping my phones in nice shape, I'm impressed that this one hasn't been cracked for as long as I've had it, which in case you're wondering is about six months. I did pick up a case. I picked up the 16 Pro Max clear case with MagSafe. I ordered this on the day of the Apple event and it actually arrived two days later on Wednesday the 11th, meaning I did already open it, but I will re-unbox it after I unbox the big thing, the iPhone 16 Pro Max itself. I've gone ahead and switched to recording on my iPhone 14 Pro. I was previously recording on my dad's old iPhone 13 as this was the only thing I had to record on, but I decided I needed some better quality for the rest of this unboxing. Anyways, I simply can't wait any longer, so let's just get started. We'll go ahead and pull the tab on the bottom of the box. Next, the tab at the top. Then we'll go ahead and flip the box over. And finally, after waiting two years to get my hands on a Pro Max iPhone, I'll go ahead and unveil the iPhone 16 Pro Max in natural titanium. Man, that is gorgeous. All right, so like usual, I'll just go ahead and put the phone over to the side for now and go ahead and take a look at what else we get in the box. First off, we have a new layout inside of the box. Typically, we would have our charger coiled up down here and the paperwork in a square up at the top. Instead, this time, it looks like the charger and the paperwork take up a nice big oval shape in the middle of the box. You can see this is a braided USB Type-C to Type-C charger, which is most likely just gonna stay in the box for now, as I have quite a few of these. And next, we have the usual iPhone paperwork, except one minor detail. It's missing the Apple stickers. It's the end of an era. Apple has discontinued including the Apple stickers inside of your iPhone box. Now, you can go to the Apple store and request for them to give you stickers. They'll give them to you for free, but they no longer include them inside of the box. I'll go ahead and put the charger and paperwork back in the box for now so that we can go ahead and get onto the phone itself. Actually, I lied. Now it's time for the case. This will be quick, I promise. Just go ahead and pop it open. I've already pulled this tab, but it sticks back on. And we'll go ahead and pull out the clear case for the 16 Pro Max. Now, I bought this so that I can say that I have a case for my phone, but I do not intend on using it as I love the feel of a naked iPhone and I swore to myself that I would not drop this thing. I mean, I guess we're gonna see how that goes, but for now, this thing is gonna survive naked 
until at least I decide it needs a case. But first off, I do wanna see how it looks inside of the case. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I must say that is a really clean and really sharp look. I like that. I'll leave it in the case for now, but I'll probably take it off later. But now it's time for what you actually came here to see, and that is me peeling the plastic off the front. You don't have to admit it, but I know it's the truth. And now after way too much suspense, I'll go ahead and turn on the iPhone 16 Pro Max for the very first time. And there she is. Man, look at how thin those bezels are. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up off camera as I do need to set it up with my own personal stuff. I'm not gonna transfer everything from my 14 Pro. I'm gonna be starting fresh. I do wanna do this off camera just so it's a little bit easier for me. So I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as I've finished setting this up how I'd like it, and then I'll let you know what's next for my 14 Pro. Many, many minutes later. All right, it's been about an hour and a half, but here we have it. Now, I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max and an iPhone 14 Pro that look nearly identical, except for the fact that the 14 Pro is filled up with random junk useless apps, and the 16 Pro Max has all the stuff that I actually use on my main home pages, but isn't full of junk. That's what my main goal was from the beginning. Now, the only things left for me to do are go ahead and pair my Apple Watch up to the 16 Pro Max, decide whether or not I'm actually gonna use the case. Right now, I'm leaning towards actually using it, but I'm not sure yet. Man, this thing is gorgeous though. And then it's time to see what's next for my iPhone 14 Pro. Now this iPhone 14 Pro is still in really nice shape. It's still got Apple Care. The Apple Care Plus subscription on it does not expire until the middle of December, which of course can be renewed for another year and possibly longer, I can't remember. So it wouldn't really make any sense for this phone to just sit around in a drawer. But the only issue is I don't exactly wanna just sell it on eBay because I went through all the pain to pay this thing off over the course of a year and a half. Well, if you saw my last video, you'd know my dad drowned his phone in the river, which is actually, funnily enough, the one that I'm recording on, his old iPhone 13. But for the last couple of weeks, he has been using my iPhone XS. And in those couple of weeks, that iPhone XS has developed touch disease. I used it for four months, my brother used it for a year, and then I used it again as a tester for another six months and never had an issue. And of course, the moment that it actually has an important use, the touchscreen has to crap out. It's unfortunate, but he's been living with it with touch disease for about two weeks now. And because I know he can't take it anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and surprise him by upgrading him to my iPhone 14 Pro. I don't have much of a use for it other than a secondary phone, but I have three iPhone 13s that I could use for that. And I'd rather see him using this than have me have it as a secondary phone. So after I finish this video, I'm gonna go ahead and erase it, downgrade it back to iOS 18.0, as it's currently running 18.1 developer beta 4 and then i'll go ahead and surprise him with it tomorrow i'm not going to be making a video on that as it wouldn't exactly be very easy to do long story short i'm not keeping the 14 pro that's going to my dad and actually getting used next for the 16 pro max is to go ahead and update it to ios 18.1 developer beta 4 sorry about that i reset my apple watch so i could pair it to this one and it just keeps prompting me to go ahead and connect it but i'll go ahead and update to ios 18.1 developer beta 4 so i can go ahead and try out apple intelligence let me know down in the comments if you'd like a video about that if enough of you care about it i might as well make a little demonstration of it but this pretty much concludes the video this has been my unboxing of the iphone 16 pro max 256 gigabyte in natural titanium, along with, of course, the clear case with MagSafe that Apple offers, which if you ignore the fingerprints on it right now, is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed watching me open up the newest iPhone on launch day, which speaking of that is something I've always wanted to do and yap about it nonstop for the last 10 minutes. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm extremely excited about this and cannot wait to keep using it. My 14 Pro is going to a good place instead of sitting in a drawer and I'm finally getting an upgrade from that 6.1 inch display that I just can't stand anymore. Wait, where'd the 16 Pro Max go? Yeah, okay. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as as of right now, only 5.1% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you're new, smash that subscribe button and you can really help me in reaching my goal of 6,000 subscribers. I know we just reached 5,000, which of course I wanna thank you guys so much for, but why not shoot for 6,000? Anyways, I'm sick of recording. I'm tired. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. My wallet is screaming in pain. And as always, Peace out, guys.